Hi, I'm James, and today we have this on the desk, which is a Acer Aspire 5 A514-54 laptop. Now, this is quite similar to the 53 model that we have looked at previously, and what we're going to do is just start by removing all the screws from the base. Uh, these are all, as we can see, exposed. There is quite a few of them for a modern laptop, but it's fairly simple to go through and get these taken out. Uh, now these are being removed, I believe, with a Phillips size zero uh, screwdriver. I have a link to one of the screwdriver sets that I use in the description below, along with other tools and parts. So where you can find everything you need for doing this work. Anyway, we're just going to remove these. They're all the same size, but I just placed them off to one side um, in the same arrangement that I took them out. Just makes things easier if you encounter a machine where there is a different size screw in it. Two left now. And with this done, we are then going to turn to our pry tool. So standard plastic pry tool, this one's been used a little bit, but still okay. And what we're going to do is go to the back of the machine and just press that in not too hard, but just enough to separate the uh, base from the chassis. And then with that done, we're going to go to the corners of the hinges and down each side. What I like to do is just pull up lightly on here, just makes things a little easier. Same again on the other side. You don't want to apply too much force, just enough to sort of lever them apart very slightly. And then we should be able to just, like so, lift off the panel. Once inside the system, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to disconnect the battery here. So we have this tape, which just goes over the cable. We're going to peel that out the way. Just hold that down. And then I'm going to use a second pry tool and my finger just to gently slide out the connector there. Once inside we have two upgrade options. So you can see here we have a MVME type uh, PCIe uh, M2 2280 SSD. Now we can either clone the contents of this to a new SSD or um, clean install to it, but simply remove the screw, insert the new drive, press down and screw into place. Now along with this M2 drive we also have a SATA cable and bay included. So the cable and bay come in the laptop from the factory. You do not need to find these in the box and add them. Uh, but in the box you do get a pack of four screws for attaching this. So what we are going to do is we are going to unscrew the bay and just take this tape off of the SATA connector. Right, we'll just fold that down onto it. Now with that done we can pop out this, we can take our drive and you want to orientate this this way round, so into the adapter or the, the holder like so and taking our four screws From the, uh, from the package, we can then put these in on the side mounts. This will take um, any, I think, 7mm uh, thick uh, SATA SSD or hard drive, so you can uh, either fit a second SSD for additional storage or for mass storage a large hard drive if you want a lower cost option. Of course I would always recommend keeping Windows on the uh, on a larger or on the MVME uh, SSD. So with that in place we can then connect this cable into the end and insert the drive into place before screwing it down. So three screws hold this in, the fourth one on that top bit is actually one of the uh, chassis screws. Uh, 
and our final upgrade option. So the four gigabytes of RAM in this model is built onto the main board itself, but what we can do is insert an additional uh, DDR4 3200 module and just press down into position like so. We can also, if we choose to, replace the wireless card. This does actually come with a MediaTek Wi-Fi 6 card, um, but if you were to want to replace it with a Intel AX200 or similar, you can simply undo the retaining screw, clip off the two aerials, take your replacement card, and a little fiddly but clip back on the two aerial connectors just by pressing them onto the connectors. Probably easier with the card reinstalled, so I'll get that done. And the single screw again, just after reinserting the card. And press down your connectors like so. And with those back in place, we're all done. So our next job then is simply to reconnect the battery. Put down that little bit of tape again, and then take our base and put it back into position. To refit, we're then just going to start at the front and press that down to clip it into place. Then work our way along each side and the back as well. We can then simply refit all the screws into the base and it is job done with this machine. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have, do let me know in the comments or if you have any questions, hit the like button if it helps you fix or upgrade your machine and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.